Hey guys, this is Clinton Jeff. Now, remember those transparent blondie superstars that dropped way back in 2019? Man, I really wanted a pair of those. But they just didn't drop here in Asia and I didn't want to go through the stress of ordering them from StockX and then paying import fees on top of that. So I held off on buying a pair on resale even though I really wanted a pair. So imagine my surprise to see Adidas drop a GR version of that shoe on adidas.com where it's still sitting even now. Today, we're checking out the transparent Adidas superstars. Alright guys, first up, if you like what you're seeing so far, maybe consider hitting the subscribe button right below just in case you haven't yet. And if you're into sneaker photos, maybe give me a follow on Instagram at Clinton Jeff. Really helps out a small creator like me. The transparent Adidas superstar dropped out of nowhere globally this February at a price of about $110 in the US. And you all know I love superstars, so I had to cop a pair for myself. The cool thing here is that you can basically change up the entire look of the shoe depending on what socks you wear underneath. So you can wear a bold color or a pair of wacky fun socks and you'll be able to see the pattern through the shoe, which in concept is pretty darn cool. I thought that the Arizona Ice-T Superstars and the Melting Sadness Bunny Superstars were awesome. But ah man, with these, I think Adidas is doing a really good job with the Superstars lately, just that they don't really have as much hype nowadays. Starting from the box is your usual blue Adidas Superstar box. Nothing out of the ordinary here. When you open up the box, you just have the wrapping paper and the shoes. No extra pair of laces or anything, unfortunately. But these are general releases, so that's okay. I would have liked if Adidas had included a pair of black laces or maybe a few colors. So you can change up the laces to suit your socks, but admittedly, that's expecting a bit too much. Coming to the shoe itself and starting with the toe box, it's your usual superstar shell toe in that signature white hard rubber. Moving along the upper of the shoe, the upper is made of this transparent TPU material that extends throughout the shoe. But you do have fabric elements stitched in at certain parts to give the shoe more structure and stability. For example, moving along the sides, you'll see the usual Adidas three stripes. Here in this white color, which is different from the black color of the Blondie version, with the word Superstar in gold on one side and these tiny little ventilation holes in between. Since this is essentially a plastic shoe, those ventilation holes are definitely appreciated and will hopefully keep the shoe from getting too steamy. I do feel like the plastic upper will scratch up as you keep wearing the shoe though. So they won't always be this transparent depending on how rough you are with your shoes. You'll notice that the three stripes also give the upper some structure, joining the eyelet panel to the midsole below. And the eyelet panel also gives the TPU upper some more structure towards the edges as it extends upwards from the midsole towards the top of the shoe. Coming to the top of the shoe, you'll see the usual Superstar regular lacing system here with these flat white laces weaving through them. Underneath the laces is the usual leather tongue, which seems to have slightly more padding than a regular pair of Superstars. In fact, there's a layer of exposed foam on the inside, which is interesting, but also might be there to help with the steam situation. And at the top of the tongue is a black and white trifold badge as usual. Though my shoe seems to have some very random printing defects on the left pair. And then coming to the inside of the shoe, there's no sock liner on the inside. You know, because this shoe depends on your actual sock to be the sock liner. There's a bit of padding towards the back to help with comfort and heel lock, but it's quite minimal. At the bottom is the usual Superstar insole in white, with the Adidas Trifold branding in black towards the heel. And then lastly, coming to the back of the shoe, you have the usual Superstar heel tab, which is in a white leather finish with black Adidas Trifold branding. Moving on, that entire upper sits on the usual white Superstar hard rubber midsole. Nothing majorly different here. And then lastly, coming to the bottom of the shoe, you have a white rubber outsole in the usual Superstar thread pattern. That's about it in terms of design. I really do think that this is a really cool pair. Coming to fit and sizing, the Adidas Superstars tend to fit true to size. These fit just like any regular pair of Superstars. So you can head on over to an Adidas original store and try on a regular pair of Superstars to know how these fit. Similarly, in terms of comfort, these feel just like every other pair of Adidas Superstars. When it comes to cushioning, it's a rather stiff, flat kind of feeling underfoot since there's really not too much going on from a cushioning point of view here. But to its credit, it is a very stable shoe. So if you want a really stylish pair of everyday sneakers and you're okay with how the superstars feel underfoot, this is a pretty solid option for you. All right guys, we're all out of the way. Let's take a look at the transparent Adidas superstars on feet.
I have to admit, I'm not quite sure how Blondie will feel about Adidas pushing out a GR version of their collab, especially since this one looks awfully similar. But I absolutely love this shoe. I just love that you can change things with just a pair of socks. I mean, I'm even thinking about getting a second pair just because. Granted, wearing a shoe with a TPU plastic upper does mean that your feet can get quite warm in these. And on top of that, these are only as comfortable as a regular pair of superstars, which isn't saying much. And that transparent plastic TPU upper is not going to stay transparent forever. As you wear the shoe, it'll definitely get a bit scuffed up and it will probably fade over time. But in the meanwhile, this is a really cool shoe. I know transparent shoes tend to go out of style and come back in style every couple of years. But man, I just had to pick these up. All right guys, so that's what I think about the transparent Adidas superstars. Not sure if this is the new Adidas strategy to make GR versions of all of their hyped collabs. But hey, I'm not complaining. I'd love to know what you guys think about these shoes and whether you're considering picking up a pair of these or are transparent shoes just not your thing? Let me know right in the comment section below or if you want to see more photos of the transparent Adidas superstars, you can check them out over on my Instagram account at Clinton Jeff and maybe give me a follow. And hey, if this video was helpful to you and you want to support the channel, don't forget to hit the like button right below and maybe subscribe if you haven't yet because it's definitely appreciated. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next one.